Hello to all of you, I am Matt Bell and welcome to Train Fever. This is a simulation game, well, about, you might have already guessed it from the name, about trains and building a big uh, network of trains and train tracks and lines and connecting all those towns on, those, on this map and transporting goods and passengers all around. And, uh, well, it starts, as you can see down here, in the year 1850, and as time progresses, those towns will develop, they will grow, and as well you will get new uh, new trains, new locomotives, new wagons, um, well, depending on the year you are currently in. And, well, you might not know those town names, because uh, most of them, they are pretty small towns, uh, situated uh, around my area where I live, so uh, one of those towns actually is uh, the village where I live. And uh, well, I will start building my train network right here in Stuttgart because uh, that is um, the biggest town of the region. It's about 500,000 inhabitants, I believe. Well, as you can see, it clearly does not have 500,000 inhabitants at the moment, and it definitely won't have any time, because uh, I have played this game for uh, a while already, so I know what to do, and um, I have never gotten more than 1,000 inhabitants, so uh, gotta deal with that, but as... Uh, but you will see when I have a town of 1,000 inhabitants, it looks pretty much like a big town. And well, anyway, the focus is lying on the trains, so um, it's uh, not that much, not that big of a deal if I have, if I don't have the biggest cities ever. If I want to have big cities and do want to simulate them, then I'm going to play City Skylines again. Um, but anyway, let's start building. We need, well, of course, we need to connect uh, towns with each other. So first of all, we need two train stations to do that. And train stations are situated where? Exactly, next to roads. So that's the first thing I need to do. Build a few roads. There I can a nice train station. Alright, there we go. We have our first two train stations and now I need to connect them before actually trains can run anywhere. And this works pretty easy as well. Okay, there we go. We have it connected. We have a first line, that's the yellow one, which is called line one at the moment. Well, I'm probably going to rename it after a while, but for now it's okay. So now there is only one thing left to do, we need to build a train depot so that there can actually be some trains running around this place. And I will have one here and another one right there. And then in this train depot I can buy some new trains and as you can see we only have a few wagons and one locomotive to choose from at this, uh, at this time. Uh, as you, you will see that will change in the future. But for now, I have to go with this one. I'm going to buy four, uh, four wagons and then I'm going to set it to line one. There we have it. Our first steam train ever! Ah, oh, that is looking so cool. Anyway, I have a second train depot, so there I'm going to buy another one of those trains. That is it, and then we'll set it to line one as well. And then we will ha we have our first complete line between two stations with two trains on it. And that is looking pretty good so far, but... Um, But there are not so many people who want to uh, join the ride and that is because they don't really know about the possibility to go on a train now. 
so we need to do something else. We need to create bus lines. And that is done uh, by putting down bus stops. One over here and then a few within the city. So let's have a nice circular bus route. One there and then we can do this, create a new line. Alright, there we have it, the first bus line and uh, well, we don't really have buses so far because well, of the time we are currently in, we only have stagecoaches. Um, so we are going to buy two of them and we're setting them to line two. And then everything is fine. Nope. Wait, not everything is fine because there is one last, last thing I need to do. I need to tell the game that I want to group this bus stop with this train stop. So now I have a connection between those two stops, between the road and the, tra uh, the train tracks. And so that's... I need to repeat that here over at Eichtal again because well I need to do that with every new train station I build there we have it a third line a second line for buses with stagecoaches going around already nice horses in the front between my bus stop and my train stop. That's looking good for a start. We, are, and we have plenty of money left. Um, but I'm going... Uh, but what I'm doing first most of the time is uh, to repay my loans because I'm starting uh, with a loan of 3 million... I don't know, credits? Dollars? I don't know. So I'm going to do that first. Because uh, I need to pay for this loan each year and when I have uh, a loan of zero, well then I don't have to pay anything and that is good. Not paying anything is always a good thing and well that might take a while. Well in the meantime while waiting you can well watch your citizens go around, go to the next train station, wait for the train and see the trains arrive at the station and uh, <sighs> lean back and relax. But I must say this isn't a, a really, really well exciting fast-paced game. It's more well, relaxing and well, you can't really lose, I suppose. Well, the only thing you can actually lose is uh, when you have when you uh, are losing too much money. But in that case, you can always uh, shut down uh, some of your some of your lines and uh, sell some of your trains. After you did that, then you will make money again, usually. So, well, it's not that hard to actually make money in this game. The, the, mo the biggest problems I have uh, actually is uh, with transporting goods around. That is a bit difficult and the system behind that is a bit weird, but... It is possible to figure it out, but you need to uh, learn it a bit. And well, as you can see, as time passes by, my trains, my train line is getting more and more popular. There are already two, uh, 22 passengers waiting here for the next train to arrive and to go to Eichtal over here. And there the train comes already. And I've got 19 passengers on board with a capacity of 24, so it's, that's the goal. To always run at full capacity, of course, because that gives you the most money and you don't want to lose money in this game. Because, uh, well, that can get, go pretty quickly, especially later on when the, uh, uh, when the trains are getting more and more expensive. Okay, there we go. We have repaid all our loans, so all the money we are making from this point onwards 
is actually our money. So that means we can start building new things as soon as we have enough money for that task. So uh, what I'm going to do next is I will build a, ne a nice train station uh, at Nürtingen, right over here. Well, as soon as I have the money for that. Now that I don't have to pay any more, uh, any, any more. Blah, blah, blah. So now that I don't have to repay any any loans, doesn't mean that I automatically have enough money to do anything I want. Well, it's it's about patience sometimes. And there we go. See, patience pays off most of the time. And as well in this case. So now we need to. Wait for my money, of course, that's what we need to do, but uh, we need to connect the train lines, of course. And there we have it! Great news for all the people who want to travel to or from Nürtingen, because they can now do that uh, with the fast train and they don't, uh, they don't need to walk by foot there. So, we are... Add a new station to this line. So now that so now Nürtingen is connected like that, and we need to add Eichtal again because uh, otherwise, if I didn't do that, uh, then the trains would start in Stuttgart, then they would uh, stop in Eichtal, then they would stop in Nürtingen, and then they would go all the way back to Stuttgart again. So like this, they are going to stop in Eichtal a second time. So what I'm going to do next, what I need to do next is, well obviously I need to uh, build another bus line over here, so let's do that real quick. Alright, I have the new line now with two buses uh, going around it, and then uh, what I need to do besides that is I need to buy more uh, trains, because uh, as you can see, the frequency now here is 11 minutes, and that's a bit too uh, high in my opinion. As you can see, there are waiting a lot of people already, 63 to be precise. And the next train will come in, I don't know, quite some time. Because both of the trains are right at the other side of the train tracks of the line at the moment. So that is something I need to do first because I can before I continue to do anything else all right that should do I have bought two new trains so now the frequency should be looking much better now six minutes that is awesome and well in the future I probably won't need uh, that many trains for uh, such a short uh, line because uh, later on that trains will go much faster this one currently goes at a speed of oh, come on come. there we go this one goes currently at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour and later on I will have uh, new trains which will go uh, between 120 kilometers per hour to even 300 kilometers per hour but I don't think I will reach that because um, for a train to read to make a train reach such a high speed it should it must start over here and then must go all the way to the other corner of the map without stopping once because otherwise it won't, won't reach the 300 kilometers per hour but well 250 is fast enough in my opinion as well and that is definitely going to be reachable and there we have it there we have a new locomotive unlocked. Let's have a quick look at that one and compare the two. Uh, this one has a top speed of 40 km per hour and this one has a top speed of 45 km per hour for example. Well it weighs much more but it uh, has more power and it uh, has a, a higher attractive effort but as well it has more running costs. So that's the downside of everything. But well, since I have uh, this line equipped uh, with new trains just recently, there is no necessity of 
buying a new locomotive just now, not for this uh, for this line at least. I'm probably going to build another line somewhere else. Uh, well, I'm playing with the thought of connecting those two uh, little towns. And there I might want to build that new uh, locomotive. Hmm. Yeah, might be a good idea. But for now I think I'm going to leave it right here. We are off to a good start. We have our three... Uh, we have three cities connected. Well, not, they're not really cities by now, but... Uh, well, you know what I mean. They're little towns at the moment, but they will grow. And then you might consider them a city later on. But anyway, for now I will leave this episode right here. I say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, share the video, or basically, well, do what you want. So I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, have a good time, and bye-bye. Uh,